Okay, so this is the take with the UV-1 on its own going straight into the AX-100. The position is between 11 and 12 o'clock on the preamp and obviously the AX-100 is down on its minimum gain setting. So this is just to see if once I then put the Andoa in line with it and then raise the gain up, do I get a reduction in the background hiss? So here is the hiss for just the UV-1 on its own. Okay, so back to the UV-1, but this time the Andoa is also in the signal path here. So basically what I'm doing is I'm driving the preamplifier properly now. So the preamp's basically nearly 100% up, I'd say 90%. And then what that means is the signal coming out of the back of the UV-1 is a proper good signal. And then what I've got is the Andoa on it now, which is basically doing an attenuation of the output from the uv1 so i've got a decent signal going into the camera now but hopefully because i'm driving the uv1 and the ando is doing the attenuation on the back end hopefully i get a bit less hiss now on this version so let me just do a bit of silence here So this is now with the FET head on and basically the gain has dropped right down because the FET head's doing all the lifting here. Uh, I've still got a great signal coming out the back of the UV one and this time it should be a lower hiss level as well. But it's going to be interesting to see once the Andoa is in line and then I put the FET head on again with that. Then I can drive the actual preamp. Another thing worth mentioning here as well, it is only the preamp that I'm using. So it's in bypass mode. So just the preamp here. Okay, so here's the hiss for this one as well. Okay, so this is now the FET head and the UV-1 again, but this time going through the Andoa. So what this means is I can now gain up properly at the UV-1 end here via the FET head. And I've got a very healthy preamp level here, so it's averaging 0 dB now. And it's basically tickling plus 6, whereas earlier on I have to have it right down, so it's like minus 24. So obviously the signal coming out of the back end of the UV-1 now with the FET head is very healthy. And the Andoa is then attenuating that, just as it did do on the previous take. So let's just see what the hiss is like now. Hopefully this has pushed the hiss down a bit more. Although saying that, the UV-1 with the FET head was less noisy than the UV-1 on its own, going direct into the X-100. Nonetheless, here's the hiss.